G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now, today I have got something a little bit different for you. I was uh, scrolling through YouTube the other day and um, a picture caught my eye and I thought, wow, what is that? So I had a little look and it was um, some resin veining uh, by the lovely Susanna Danks from La Res Expressions. Hi, Susanna. She's a lovely lady. Um, sometimes she watches my videos and if she sees that I need something, there'll be this, this little present arrive in the mail a week later with exactly what I needed. So she's lovely. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to try and do one of her creations today and see if I can do it justice. Now, the resin I'm using is this one, Platinum Super Clear, that one there. So I'm using that. It's a two to one. I have mixed 250 grams of part A and 110 grams of part B. I should put up a little chart actually for you at some stage that tells you what to use if you're weighing them, how much. I'll type it up and I'll put it up for you at some stage. So, um, veining. Uh, you'll have to check out her, her videos so you can actually see, but she creates these um, striations, I call, well, they're, I guess they're striations, but they're more like veins or they kind of look like brains or something. <laughs> but anyway, it's a reaction between transparent um, and non-transparent resin I think anyway we'll see now she has sent me this uh, Lores Expressions transparent liquid pigment so I'm going to use some of that one uh, the color is lapis lapis lazuli there we go um, so I'm going to use this I've divided my cup into four the blue and the white have got the most, and then the clear and the gold have got maybe two-thirds of what I've got for the blue and the gold. So um, now I'm just trying to remember. She said seven drops in an ounce. So I've got 360 grams of resin. Mm, half of that. Oh my gosh, I should have tried to work that out before, shouldn't I? Let's just start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's see what it looks like with fifteen drops, hey? We'll start with that. Oh, look at that. It's a gorgeous bright blue colour, isn't it? So I want to keep it nice and transparent. That's looking really good. Um, actually, I could probably weigh this. Let's weigh it and then I'll see how much I've actually got. I'll just, just put it over here. I'll just take out 10 grams for the stick in the cup. That's probably kind of accurate rather than trying to guess how much is in there. So it's 109, so 100 grams. So I probably need more like... 20 drops but I like the transparency of it so I don't think I'm going to put any more in what do you think Susanna <laughs> if you're watching does that seem about right uh, like so yeah I don't really want to make it any more opaque keep it nice and transparent um, right so that's my blue this one's my clear um, the white is the Lores Expressions in the white satin so that's going to be next there was some others that I saw as well that I, I really liked of her videos so I jumped online this morning and I've bought a few more things of hers so I'll show you something else that she's been doing and I want to do it because it looks so much fun so but anyway I had to go and order some more colors so I've done that so when they arrive I'll have a go and see if I can do her technique justice with the similar colors anyway so there's my white put a nice big scoop in 
I'm going to give that another stir in a minute because sometimes the mica powders come up to the surface. So I'll just give that another minute. Now the gold. I've used this gold lots of times and I like the sort of puffy, it's hard to explain, but it's kind of a puffy look that you get. Um, Perlex. I have bought Susanna's gold. As I said, it's one of the ones that I purchased this morning, but it's not here yet. So let's do that one. We'll try this one. Perlex. Uh, brilliant gold. I don't know whether all the golds are the same or not. I have no idea. Whoops. Be careful it doesn't spray out. So hopefully we'll get some pretty effects with these. And I'm going to do a puddle pour because I want the colours to kind of churn and mix into each other. Now, as I said, Susanna is the owner of Lorez Expressions. I will put her website link down below in the descriptions box and also if you would like to purchase from her there's a coupon code it's just charm c-h-a-r-m charm as in i don't know oh well my email address is charmed a moment so i guess that's where it comes from um and but yeah you can get 20 percent off 20 percent how good's that all right, so this is the order I want to do them. So, shall we go? Shall we get this show on the road? So I've got my four coasters here with the geode edge. And um, I've given them a clean. I've put tape on them, although some more stuff has flown in while I've been talking. I need to give my studio a good vacuum, I think. Just go over that again make sure that I've got all the bits of dust and hair and stuff out because it's the other side that's going to be the the good side not the top it's going to be the bottom when we flip it over we should go wow that's going to be our good side okay now let me just torch these bubbles I'll be careful not to torch too much into a plastic cup because you can melt it but I'm only using a tiny little little one all right now my blue this is going to be tricky because my blue needs to go one two three four two layers so I can't use too much be careful make sure I only use half of what I've got here now I need something to wipe that there we go so I don't make a a mess. Is that about half? Hmm, I think so. <clears throat> right, so I'll put that aside. And now I'm going to go in with, again, this white. I need to do four puddles of the white. So I need to go half, use half the cup. I'm going to go up high. So I want to kind of blend those colours together. Alrighty, that's about half. Now same thing with the gold. The gold is really quite powerful, it takes over so haven't mixed up as much. So just a little puddle, little puddle for the gold. Again, I'm just using half of what I've got in my cup now. And then <clears throat> back to the blue. Not that white's strong enough. I don't know if I'll put enough in. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, back to the blue now. And then the blue on the gold should give us a, a nice kind of green, greenish colour. Because blue and yellow make green. I've got a little bit left, so I'm just going to finish it off now. We can all have a little bit more. Yeah, this is the first time I've sort of done this, so I don't, I'm not sure exactly how much of the white pigment powder I should have put in. I don't know whether I needed to have, like, more. I might put a little bit more in just for the next layer, kind of make it a little bit stronger. We'll see. See what happens if there's any change in it. So 
So we'll do the white again. Actually, I might torch that. The white and then the um, gold and then the clear to finish it off. I think I'm running out of butane. It's not a very powerful torch, this one, so you don't have to worry about it burning your mould. It's only a little guy, but, you know, be careful. Don't get too close, obviously, because you'll, you'll still burn your silicone if you get too close. All right, so that's that one. Now, again, with the white, and then, like I said, we'll finish off with the gold and um, then some clear. Okay, so this is the white again. Oh, no. Was it gold? No. Huh. No, the gold is on the other side of the, of the blue. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. I'll finish this off. Which I hope I haven't... Oh, I might not have left enough room, you guys, in my cups, in my moulds. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be full. They're going to be full. I didn't really take that into consideration, did I? That I didn't need to use everything that I made up. I need to leave a little space for my clear. All right, here we go. Hopefully I've still got enough space for my clear. In you go. In you go. And we'll have nice full moulds and they'll be doming. So that'll be nice. I don't know if I can put any more in. I think they're pretty full. Pretty full. Yep. I think that's all that I can put in, really. Now, ideally, I would like to um, give it a swirl around, a swoosh around with... Um, I'm just going to wipe my hands. I've got resin, sticky resin all over my hands. I'm going to grab a baby wipe. I'm going to grab my alcohol. I'm going to spray that on that. And then I'm just going to wipe my gloves. I'm going to do it over here, though, because I don't want to do it with my... in front of my coasters there. Okay. Well, look at that. Things are happening already. Oh, <laughs> well... The gold is doing its bubbly, puffy thing, as the gold does. And I'm going to torch again. So we're just going to have to basically wait now until the resin does its thing. It'll change over the next hour. It won't look like this when I'm done. It'll change. Popping bubbles. Not sure which blue Susanna used. I'll have to go back and look at her video and see which actual blue she used. Whether it was this one, the lapis, or something else. Oh, I'm not sure. When I was on the, her website this morning, there was, a, there was a couple of other blues that I really liked, but they were out of stock. So I guess they're really popular and they sold out. So this is the one that I've got. But if it's not sort of bright enough, I'm getting like a purplish tone there. So we'll see what it looks like. I might have to, um, when those other blues come back in stock, I'm sure Susanna will send them out to me. <laughs> the dark, dark blue. All right, popping bubbles. I'm going to come back and pop some more bubbles over the next sort of 10 minutes or so because I can still see some there, but I don't want to over torch at the moment. All righty, that's it. Um, I'll take you down for a little bit of a close-up and you can see what's happening. Let's turn that ring light off. Let's see. Let's see what's happening in here. So the outside's starting to pull in. Getting some really pretty stripy striation effects on the edges there. I don't know if the center will stay like that. It's sort of closing up as we speak. <laughs> it's getting a little wriggly, wriggly edges there because my 
Costa mold has got the really geode edges but I think that'll probably all close up let's have a look across the top oh I forgot to do my I was gonna do my heart I forgot to do my heart oh dear I don't think I've got enough left to do my heart I've got a tiny bit of resin left in my cups but I don't think it's gonna be enough I wonder if I can get a tiny bit out to put in my heart. I cleaned the heart and that, you know to use it, and then I forgot about it. Poor little thing, got forgotten about. Let's see if I can scrape out all of that blue there. Oh, that's quite a decent amount, isn't it? I'll only be able to do one layer of blue though. how much you can get out of there if you try it's probably it's not enough to do anything big with but when you're just talk, oh, talking about a tiny little heart like that it's enough and it's got a little nib in it there so you can use it as a key ring this mold is in my ebay store if anyone's interested in it all right here we go I've got some white left let's pour that in from up high it doesn't hold a lot of um, resin, this little thing. A little bit of gold. And just finish it off with a little bit of clear. Whoops, and hopefully that's not going to overflow. Well, like I said, it doesn't hold a lot. I hope it's not going to overflow. All right, that needs a bit of a torch. All right, I'll just leave it like that. These are closing up a lot, look at that. Closing up a lot. Oh, I can see some white mica <laughs> floating on top. I obviously didn't mix that second lot in very well. Got a little bit there left on top. All right, so that's it from me. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, I guess, and uh, we'll unmold them. And then I'll see whether or not my white was strong enough, if I had enough white in there or not. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. It's unmolding day. It's the next day. I've set. And um, yeah, hopefully I'm going to get some really pretty effects on the outside. So you can see we've got more blue around the edge and then there's kind of more white in the middle. So, But it's all closed up and I can see some puffy stuff happening so I don't know if it's from the gold or the white it might be a reaction of both let's start with this one's closest to me hey hopefully they'll just pop out nice and easily they usually do with this mold <clears throat> and I don't have any any lip across the top there because I domed them so there's nothing to sand so look at that so there's no lip at all so yay, radio. Shall we have a look at the back? Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, we've got a little clear center. It's all glacial. It looks like ice and up at the Arctic. Can't see any gold. <laughs> My gold has gone, skis. Oh, there might be a little tiny bit. But I think it's contributed to the reaction. Wow, look at that, you guys. That is amazing. <laughs> Not at all what I wanted, but I think I probably put too much white in it. I'm going to definitely go again and maybe decrease the white and increase the gold. But loving those puffy effects. Look at the middle ones there. Look at the little. That's definitely puffy. Puffy, fluffy. Oh, love it. All right, I wonder if they're all going to be like that. Let's get it out. Let's have a look. Yes! Yes! There's another one just like the other one. Beautiful. I know it's not my traditional style 
style but hey I think it's really nice to have something different and thanks to Susanna for the inspiration love it so, isn't it funny though <clears throat> like you know how I was saying I had the blue on the outside and then the white in the middle you can look at the back it's reversed the white on the outside and the blue in the middle how bizarre is that get the little heart out he didn't mix as well as the others like you know because he's a heart shaped so you're not going to get that symmetrical look but I, I don't think I sort of put as much in and mixed him as much either so oh but he's still really cute look at that a little bit of white there on the edge where the colors didn't the blue didn't go to oh, I can see a tiny bit of gold there I wonder where all my gold went I probably didn't put enough mica in I probably didn't didn't add enough I need to add double the amount but I'll do that next time righto let's get this one out there's the top again nice and smooth no lip to sand look at these striations here they've got some gold in them totally totally different yay another one that one hasn't got as much white around the outside look at the difference not as much white I mustn't have put a, a, as much white in this one or maybe I just put more blue in it hard to say they're really unusual aren't they I love them so different like normally I don't like the backs you know I go for the effect on the front I've I don't think I've ever gone for an effect on the back but uh, these I certainly do want that effect on the back beautiful I think I'll um oh there's a little bit of a bubble there I'll give them just a tiny little sand along the edge there and I think I'm going to put some silver around the top I think that would look really nice just to finish them off what do you think right so I thought I'd show you uh just me putting the silver on because a lot of people like to see that so the, I, I can only feel oh there's a tiny little bit of a sharp bit there where there's kind of a little bubble it's burst so with my nail file my emery board I'm just going to give it just on not the top just a very very light little sanding I'm just going to go all the way around and you can feel it if there's any rough edges just make sure you don't scratch the top of your piece Now there's a bit of a bigger bubble. See that one? So I need to give that one a bit more of a, a sanding. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Almost there. If you've got a lot of sanding to do, you could get your little Dremel out. A little electric sander. So that's gone and I'll just continue I'm trying not to touch the top so I'm holding it like that on the edges because it was only done yesterday so you now you got to be careful that your, your silicone might not be quite set yet or even if it feels hard if you push on it it could still leave fingerprints now that's what I'm going to use my, my favorite pen that's the deco color in the silver premium oil based opaque metallic paint marker <laughs> all right here we go so now it's gonna be a little bit more tricky to do because um, the edges are sort of geode shape but so you just put half well, it depends on how thick you want it I find that if you put half on the, the pen half on and half off it tends to give you the pen kind of clings to that little rim there that little pointy rim oh my gosh <laughs> that's what I thought might happen it's a little bit trickier all right here we go I'm just gonna take my time half on half off I don't want it too thick I don't like it too thick just a little hint of silver And away I go. And around. 
up so much too close and probably a bit close there for you. It's difficult because I can't see what I'm doing properly. I'm looking through the screen. So bear with me. I'm going slower than I would normally go. It doesn't normally take this long. I'm standing in an awkward position because I'm looking through the screen. I know, excuses, excuses. All right. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, just finishes it off beautifully, doesn't it? Some of you may prefer it without, which is fine. You can you can leave it off. You don't have to do it. And then if you wanted to, you know, you could do the whole side. So, you know, I'll come back and do that later, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like with the, the silver across it. But, yeah, you can finish off the side as well. Right. Leave it like that. I'm going to go and have a coffee. I'm so excited to unmold. I haven't even had my coffee yet this morning. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, stay tuned for the finished pictures and I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay, bye for now.